House of Nine. This nose says House of Nine. They may not be home. We're gonna lockpick. It's fine. We're not breaking the law. I've already been in here two times. Don't tell anyone. Oh, give me a gun? Or, no, it's, what? A lockpick tool? Ah, we're gonna lockpick the house, aren't we? Bum bum bum, we're going to shady bad agent territory. Don't mind us, we're investigating your home while you're not home. We don't have your permission. We have reason to suspect that there might be something going on here. Dear Edith, congratulations. Yep. Instant admits Anderson Community College. Congratulations. I am pleased to inform you of your admission to ACC's Accelerated Computer Science programs, the computer science stuff again, for this fall semester. Thank you for your interest in attending Anderson Community College. We look forward to getting to know you and helping you achieve your educational goals. Anderson Community College is committed to helping you be a successful student. If you should have any further questions that the admissions and the registrar's office can help you with, please don't hesitate to call. Our hope is that your admission process will be a rewarding experience. Warmest congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all of us at Anderson Community College. Sincerely, the office. However, though, Edith. And also, something of note is that obviously this isn't for their son, because their son is missing. And they had sent in the form afterwards, so why were they accepted? Hmm. Iris. Continuing to look around a little bit. Back in the lockpick, a few things. Maybe the dad. Uh, you know, boarding up the his, Lucas's door in my dream was trying to bury his son. I mean, something like that. I'm still suspicious of this duffel bag in the corner. Apparently, I'm suspicious of the wrong things. Well, let's continue. Given that Edith might be the girl, maybe they had something going on. Maybe it was like trying to pay her way through college and trying to get some favors out of it, which would explain why she slapped him. Maybe there's something different going on there, but that's a thought. Still three toothbrushes. It's you at the end of the hallway. I need to investigate. The door is open. Ah, it's an office building. Noticeably, there are crosses here. So I think the dad is the religious one. And shotguns, rifles. Oh, but they have a license to carry those guns. More guns! He's quite the collector, isn't he? He needs six whole guns on this wall. There's a little church building right there. There's a cord. And the power of Jesus! And there you go. A little Bible set there. Alright, I was going on the desk. A few things, actually. You could see us through the window, except you could pull the curtains if you didn't want to be seen. Interesting. Let's see what's going on. There are cabinets. That one's locked. It's locked. Sorry, think about Call of Cthulhu. A lot of lock going on. Last one I check. Ta-da! Something's open. There was a ring or something that fell out, I noticed. Envelope. What could be inside? And now we're going to this bar, I think. This is the bar which I think it looked like in through town. Can I enter the bar, please? You left me out of the gas station. Yeah, I do gotta go to the bar. Thank Jesus. <laughs> Nobody's attending though. I guess you just kind of enter. Ooh, this has a really big Twin Peaks vibe that's on plane right now. Wait, a ring. 
Are we gonna act like we're married? What are, why do we have a ring here? This is such, this sounds so much like a Twin Peaks song. It's definitely obviously a reference to it. Why did she give me a ring? Understand what the rain's for, but it seems important. There's also something there, so maybe it's like something which I found. This is definitely a reference to the falling song from Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks is my favorite TV show of all time. I'm wondering that. But this song sounds so much like a song that plays during a scene inside the. Oh, and they even have the scene. Sorry, no, I'm not from there. This is obviously a Twin Peaks reference, though. So rolling from that. Oh, so we got a little bartender. What's up? Scrubbing. That's cool. few people saying about. She's talking with that guy. What are you folks doing over here? Yo. So yeah, I negatory there. Sign over here though, what is this? Napkins. How conspicuous. I'll take that if you don't mind. Where is the circle of interest as I go? There is a circle of interest here somewhere. So what caught my circle of interest? What I mean by circle of interest is that there is a circle which... Uh, oh, it's over there. Because we're going to sit down for our own show here. I didn't want to leave. I was just seeing if there was any circles of interest over here. Okay. Let's have our own seat to the show, I guess. Twin Peaks is fantastic. The third season's gonna air next spring, and I'm incredibly excited for it. It's my favorite TV show of all time. Anyways, let's watch. Hey! So we have signed a show for this ring. Ah, married. I see. We're on napkin. In my lap. The stage got a little darker. My focus is being drawn to that, so. We stole the sugar, we stole the napkins. Oh, they're seeming! Totally Twin Peaks. Amazing dance moves these FBI agents have. The bird appeared again next to Athena film, notably. Or camera reel. Then we decided to continue drinking at the lookout. Oh, wait, are we at... Oh, yep. Hanging out over the town before us. I'll pop it. Yeah, let's do our job. It's a town. Looks very pretty from here. Not gonna lie. Thursday. I didn't get a drink. <laughs> it was a nice view, though. Where am I sleeping? This is in my room. Oh, did I go to her place to sleep? The tones are heavy in this one. But I slept on the couch. She's got a much more tidy room than I do. All right, let's look around. It's part of my case anyways. She's got a butterfly collection. That's a little odd. What else going on through here? Lamp, 
chair. Nice little apartment suite. So, yeah. I don't know why we went to her place. In fact, I'm the one who didn't see the drink anything almost. The door is open. And the door is open. Uh, yeah, which way should I go? I'll start off with this one. It looks like it's padlocked. Weird that she has a locked door that's strictly padlocked. Then again, she may be... May, I mean, again, I think she's the molder of the game. So maybe she's just highly, highly suspicious of other people. And I'm not quite on uh, Scully level. Get on Scully level. Let's see. Nothing down there. Well, let's see what's deeper in then. I'm sure there's anything there, though. I feel like there should be something here, which might just be able to investigate. I'm just really suspicious I didn't seem to find anything. Given that maybe it's the outward appearance of the place, and she's put all of her important stuff inside this room. That seems definitely possible, especially if she's the really suspicious type, which going off the files, she definitely is. So let's see what's going on. Oh, she's got more rooms to this house than I expected. My oh my. That's something. I should look around more. It's the feather. This feather is probably super important because the bird seems important and the feather is one of the key images of the game. SDS left shoes. Maybe this means that this is important. If the bird is showing me the way, maybe SDS left new notes and the stuff here is important. It's definitely a thought. It looks like there's a miniature house construction here with two people in it anyways. A little bit odd, but not gonna question. It's not like too odd or anything. Typewriter. Is that a hair dryer? Construction tool? Save our sister. Women strike for peace. For house uh, work wages. So fighting for work wages and women rights. The other thing's going for. Okay, oh, I mess with around with the cassette player or the tape player. And no. But that's okay. Nothing to iron either. Let's continue. Next room. That's the symbol for the Black Panthers. Alright, I'm terrible at symbols, so that would make no sense for me. Dying Flower. I'm going to assume, yep, this was somebody else's room. Looks like a hospital room. Wheelchair, other stuff. The flowers are dead, so maybe the person died because they stopped coming to this room and just left it as it was. Open window with a nice little balcony. Oh my. There's something to interact with there. Yes, it is, in fact, a hospital bed. Seems like somebody was staying at this place that was trying to be recovered, but on assumption, they probably didn't get better, and since the flowers haven't been changed, I'm assuming that she hasn't been coming back in here. Alright, then we go down to the main room. All the stuff going on. There she is. Bathroom. And noticeably, the bathroom is handicap enabled. Hello, me. here. It's also a strange son? Either son or sound kicking in, so. It was sound from the bathroom, so. And now she waves to me. She's starting to grow a lot closer to me. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm going to break this trust and account that I'm super suspicious and stooping through all of her stuff. It is my job. Oh, she prepared oh, breakfast. I thought it was sandwiches for a second, but yeah, I yeah, she's cooked breakfast for us. It's still pretty early in the morning. She's cooking eggs. How thoughtful. So she's warming up to us. It's obvious that she has a hard time trusting people because it looks like she's... Uh, the FBI are suspicious of her. They've been suspicious of her for a long time. She's interested in women's rights and some other stuff, and she seems to have had somebody that's passed away, but her house still is handicap enabled. And she also has a locked room in her house. 
So she is definitely the molder of the game. Uh, she's super suspicious of everyone. But she's starting to warm up to me and cooked me breakfast. And unfortunately, I'm investigating her. And I don't think I've told her this, though she maybe has her suspicions. So, oh dear. Let's go and eat. Bye. Looks delectable. Ah, you got the eggs coming. Put them in here. Eggs. For both of us. You got some hash browns, and some bacon, and some eggs, and is that cheese or bread? I'm trying to figure that one out. It's toast. Got it. There is a box with the film in it. The dead bird is missing, though. Here we are in a red room. She seems to be next to me. All right, let's see what this photo reel I picked up has in it. Put the picture in. It's going to reveal new photos. What do we got some pictures of? He's also developing photos. I don't know what this is a picture of. Oh, I have to go through the process. We're developing the pictures together. Got it. Put in the water to cool. Can't leave it in there for too long. And then the final step. Oh, we're using her bathroom. This is the handicapped restroom to develop the pictures. Has a red light in it. One of my bathrooms used to have a red light, but the red light died, so we just never replaced it. Alright. The whole process. What does this picture show? <laughs> Walking around more fully. Handicap, we got pictures to hang. I'm out of here. No, let's see what 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 are we gonna do here? No picture will show nothing, but yours shows something. Is that a person? Oh, it was the officer. Oh, he's been arrested. What was he arrested for? Oh, was he having an affair with someone? I think it was two people kissing. Oh, uh, yep, it is. It's him and the girl. Not kissing, but they're cuddling. And there was a picture taken of them. So you're the pedophile priest. I'm going to write that down in my notes. You're, you're a stereotype. There might be something different going on there, but hey! Let's see how this plays out. I'm letting him go. Sir. Write down my notes. I mean... There are a few potential explanations for the picture. They aren't like kissing or anything. It looks like they're hugging. Which is still really suspicious, especially with the scene that we saw of the slapping earlier. It puts some context into question. But it could be a misunderstanding. Hmm. Or maybe it's just a pedophile. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, come with me, sir. I guess we're going somewhere. Oh, he's meeting with her now. She seems apprehensive. Now she slaps him, and she leaves. And he walks his walk of shame on the boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> Well, she did see, there was a picture of Lucas with her, so there's definitely some odd things going on there. Anyways, let's go see what our partner's up to. Wait, was that his wife? And now we're questioning the girl. That was his wife, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go question said girl. 
Oh, she has her head down from the questioning. She was questioning the girl, and I was questioning them, so... Get some more pictures of them together. Get some drink of my coffee. Greetings from Kingdom. This picture starts filling up. Hey, look! It's something! Oh! It's a person holding change praying because it's the it's the statue that we saw earlier, the angel statue which I saw so earlier. It's actually a nun statue, but I did see an angel statue earlier, so... Importance! I've got a case file going on here. Alright, Monday. Visited Fair Place residence. Came to VS, part of investigation, late missing person case. A fanfare also assessed and also the sheriff tapped of Burgess County or County Sheriff Department and several diagnoses. Details of the visit was to be found at the associated case file. Left the Fairfield property early evening. Unusual encounters of the road back to Tuesday. Oh, I shouldn't have turned the page. I was done reading. Yeah, I was hoping to zoom in. At the Bureau of Assistant Director's Office. Okay. Oh, my case. Oh, don't look what I'm looking at. What's up, my friend? Oh, she's coming with a bag. Got some coffees. I want to drink some coffees. All this food they're eating is making me realize I'm hungry. Before we start the whatever, I'm going to have to eat eventually. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the nice view. Guessing it's gonna transition to night. If we're seeing anything that happens at the statue. I guess I'll mess with my hat. Ooh, sandwiches. I like sandwiches. Nom 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 nom. Took a whole bite out of crime. Yep, we're on stakeout duty, the most exciting part of police work. A military truck. Trucks. Trucks. Military trucks go. Why do you think there's military trucks here? The mayor truck follows in. That's sure one busy observatory. We're finally gonna follow. Nice evening, son. Well, let's see. See you later, nun statue. The construction is getting further along, so there's a new stamp there. Almost ran those people over. Hey, folks. Why do you always leave the car? Okay, let's see what's going on there. Tell her she can't enter here. Or FBI. Drugs. Guess us being FBI ain't good enough around these parts. Military. Oh no, I'm at the gas station. Sure, I'll do the pumping. Yep. Put the pump fuel into the gas tank. Put it out, and put the pump back in. Oh boy, and you've returned to me. What do you got? A bison plushie. You really like plushies. Why did I give you a rabbit plushie before? Do you really like plushies? There aren't any plushies in your house. Why, why, okay, I'll, you want me to take the bison plushie? I guess I will. Thank you for the bison. Oh, this is going to see my case file. I'm investigating her. Here comes the moment. Open it up and see I'm investigating her and then she's gonna be less Oh, here it goes. I was investigating you all along. After she bought me a bison plus show she got from the vending machine. Yeah. After she opened up to me. She closed her she's thing and started closing herself off from me again. Realizing my interest in her may not just be because I want us to be friends. Oh, she's driving off without me. She's upset. But I don't want to be alone. When I'm alone, I begin to see things. Bum, bum, bum. 
To be fair, we were incredibly flimsy with that file the whole entire time. Well, let's go deeper as we head our way back. All these rooms. Now we're back at the stairs. Oh boy. We're turning on down. Places to twist and turn as we descend back down to her office. To be fair though, I didn't know why we were carrying that case file with us all the time around her, but we got places to go. At the very end of the rope, we are gonna find I'm not actually curious where we're gonna find. <laughs> Locked to her office that she has in the basement. All right, Halperin, what, what we got going on here? Ah, the door is locked. And transition back to our commute. Hey, it's the applauding audience again. Did I solve the case, or are you guys just rewarding me back to be another FBI agent? They seem happy. I'm shaking his hand and I'm throwing up the eye. The Rena case file, the smoke. And now everybody who has some weird suspicion on them is in front of me. This has to be a dream. Why do you want me to look at the case file? People who are all suspicious at the moment. So I knew the man smoking couldn't be trustworthy. Confidential secret. Give me the file. I'm inside the room. And now watching her open up her hidden room. The padlocked one. And then now a bison's gonna approach me for the gas station because that's what bisons do. Bison, are you like the horse from Twin Peaks? Especially since now that you're in front of a dead bird, that's me especially suspicious. The bison weeps for its red jay brethren. So then what does the bird represent? Because it disappears again and turns into the pendant. Does the bird represent freedom? We did let free as we constricted the vines on our own partner. The day at the diner, but now I dine alone looking again at my broken key, I think that is. And I keep the bison with me as well. But what is up with my key piece? And now I'm being driven by a taxi driver. I mean, don't have anyone to drive me around anymore. It's the same taxi driver that was from the original thing, so. Yeah. I'm remembering things about the case, and I think that we're gonna try and return the favor. By getting back the pendant that was thrown over the gate, we decided, oh, we fucked up. And I actually like her more than just my case. It's just that was my job. Let's see if I can go there and get her pendant back to make it all right. here to get back the pendant, but of course that means we're going to have to sneak in the U.S. military airspace. I'm sure nothing's going to come of that. Now, he, we're going to go get the locket, but here's a personal thought for a second. I thought about, I, I went to go get cheesecake for a brief moment because them eating made me hungry, so I was like, oh, we have cheesecake, I'll go get that. What, but, 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 what I was going to say. Um, there's obviously some important visual imagery going on. I don't know what the key with the three diamonds is for you. It looks like it's a half-broken key. I don't even know if it's really a key, but I think it's a key. The bird is obviously super important to the symbolism. It keeps on popping up. I don't quite know what it means. I think I know what the bison means, though. <sighs> I think the bison is like... if you. This is a little bit of a spoiler for Twin Peaks, but it's not a big spoiler. It's very minor, actually. So I'll just talk about it. I think the bison might be like the white horse in Twin Peaks. 
If you've seen Twin Peaks, you might remember the white horse. It doesn't appear much in the series, but in fact, it only appears like once, maybe twice. But um, the white horse in Twin Peaks foreshadows death. And noticeably, the bison... First, the bison appeared walking in the middle of the road. And then I had a dream where the bison was replaced by Lucas. Then later, the bison appeared in front of the dead bird. The bison actually appeared in my room, so I'm kind of afraid it was going to happen to our main character. Um, and also, uh, before I got into big trouble with... Um, my good old friend, uh, she brought me a bison plushie. So still though. Going on forward. Eh. Going cross over. I've got some theories about the bird right now, but nothing concrete. Maybe it just represents freedom, and that freedom is dead. <laughs> what? Especially since we tried to free it originally, but then the bird, when it almost was free, got crushed immediately. And ever since, we keep on trying to grab for the bird, but then it disappears. Maybe it's which something that like we're trying to go for our own freedom, but we keep on crushing our own freedom there. Yeah, yeah, I find it in a furnace and other stuff, so we're obviously supposed to climb this tree trunk. And it's convenient that this tree fell over, right? We're going to see if we can find the lock in the secret U.S. Air Force installation. What sort of secrets have they got going on here? Of course, I'm going for the locket, but I'm guessing we're going to find out a few things in the meantime. A little bit of a balancing act here. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think this tree's going to topple over. Why are we climbing to the end of it? This doesn't seem very safe. Ah, there's a sewer type entrance there. Oh, yep, it's gonna topple. We have no. Oh, we toppled, actually, not the tree. I'm a little bit surprised about that, at the very least. It's fine, I'm only trespassing on military property. Hmm. Let's see what's in the tunnel. Toppled off. A tunnel before us. Well, there's no time like the present to walk through a water tunnel or some sort of funnel. I'm sure this will only lead to good things, I was about to say. There's the color red again. This time it seems more deliberate in gameplay than a symbolic thing. I noticed the color red before as well, so what? Huh. The pass through the gate? That's a nice shot. Alright. Let's open this up. If she had fallen on the rocks, I think that would have been a deadly fall, but in this case, I think she was probably fine because she landed on the grass and wasn't that steep of a fall. It was less than two stories, basically. It could injure her depending on how she landed, but I don't think she would have died from it unless she was incredibly unlucky. And like landed on her head and she like hit her head against a rock or something. But she seems to have landed on the grass, so... Nice little field here, honestly. So obviously the central focal point of this whole entire area is this rock. And I don't know what we're gonna really gain from this rock unless there's like some deep secret on it, so... Ah. There is something on the rock. It's Serpentant. We came what we came, or we got what we came for, because sort of scenario. That guy threw her pendant super far! Wow! Anyways, let's see what this is. Obviously Serpentant. Of an ex-lover. Maybe it was a partner as opposed to a lover, but maybe both. And now we drink. We love, 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 love in the bar again. <clears throat> One of the sceners, and he's just taking a drink. Well, look at the pendant again.
Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.